Investigators are still learning more about the gunman who attacked a mall in Kenya last Saturday. But even as details emerge, Kenyans who live in Minnesota cannot believe something like that happened in their homeland. 12 News reporter Shannon Slatton has more. Henry Ongari is an attorney with an office in New Hope. I first learned it on a Twitter feed. But news of the Kenyan mall shooting hit very close to home. We don't know what's going on, but it sounds like shots are being fired. Ongari is from Western Kenya. He went to college in Nairobi, and he knew Westgate Mall. If you don't have a lot of money, you probably don't want to go there because you might not find something you can afford. There is hope and there are better days for this country. Actually, he handed out campaign literature at the mall last November when he campaigned for a Kenyan presidential candidate. We thought until Saturday, we, we thought it was very secure. In the troubled Horn of Africa, Kenya has been stable. It's often home to refugees as they escape war in neighboring countries. This really comes um, as a huge surprise to both those of us who have who know Kenya. But on Gary believes the attack is the work of a few. The broader message is that it's an unfortunate act. Lives have been lost and a lot of people have been injured. But, but still, I believe Kenya remains a great country. Now, Ongari and other yeah, leaders have been trying to figure out how they can help. As soon as we heard this, we said, okay, what can we do? We are thousands of miles away. But there has to be a way that we can mourn with the rest of Kenyans. An interfaith prayer service will be held here in Brooklyn Center this weekend. Ongari says it's a chance to show solidarity with Kenya and to mourn. In Brooklyn Center, Shannon Slatton, 12 News. And here's more about that prayer service. It is Saturday at 5 p.m. at the Empowerment Center in Brooklyn Center, which is just off Highway 100. There's also been an account set up to help the victims' families, and we have more details on our website. Go to 12.tv.